Okay, so the entertainment system. <laughs> All right, so the entertainment system has changed just a little bit, in that, well, <laughs> the exploding Sony is no longer in a box, and an Alpine Type R is. <laughs> And uh, as you might notice, there's no amplifier uh, mounted to the box anymore. It's just the box with no amp or power supply or anything, because the amp is over here. But the subwoofer is still powered by my good old 4 channel. It works still, so I'm just going to go ahead and keep it in here and run it. It's a uh, far sight better than this sucker. Way better on power handling. And I got my little trusty power supply down here, which has got a couple new additions since it likes to heat up with this little bit of an amp load. <laughs> and it's not even running hard right now, it's just... Yeah, it moves a little bit when it gets going, but this amp is a lot more efficient than the VR3, so it's, it gets to be hanging out in this place now. but. I'm just listening to tapes right now, as you might have noticed. <laughs> yeah, I'm a big fan of my 70s, what can I say? Aside from dubstep, you know? But anyway, I'm just going that update out there. That's my new system. <laughs> and the rear speakers that used to be the rear speakers from my truck, the Blazer, <laughs> not anymore, as you might notice. 9.5 ohm. They are now Speakers I don't even remember that I had until I grabbed the box out of the shop yesterday. Also Sony's. Go figure, right? <laughs> but I went and just modified the crap out of the old housing for this thing and I cracked this one by accident so it looks like crap but hopefully I can get better housings for these speakers eventually. But they're running Sony's now. Every single speaker in this place is over six inches <laughs> well except the three-way tweeters and all that stuff that's a six that's a six and a half both of those are six and a halves well, all four of them actually and then they're little tweeters and then of course you got the 12 over there so that's just great it sounds great I just got to say that right now it's I love it <laughs> yeah if only I could turn it up for longer periods at a time without risking taking somebody off here at the apartment, you know. <laughs> I mean, I got maintenance guys live downstairs and they don't really care. I mean, one of the guys there has a, like, 1100 watt sound system and he doesn't even have a subwoofer and he can shake the entire apartment complex with his system, so it's like he's not even in the place most of the time, so I can just turn it up usually whenever and not worry about bothering him, but you never know. I don't really do it too often. But anyway, Going back to the music now. What a fun little cluster of old speakers. From Blazer and full size pickup alike. Got a bit of a new addition to the truck today. Got new vent visors so that I can actually have the windows down in the rain. And I just wish there was one I could put back there too because that would be awesome. But there's not. <laughs> Had to do a little trimming over here because it wouldn't clear the edge of the mirror. So it looks a little ugly but oh well. I don't care. <laughs> or something like that it doesn't really matter. Got it from over at uh, ABC Auto. All the remnants of the junk. Kind of wish I could get some visors for this one, but nah, not a big deal. They're nice and solid AVS. Same thing over here, little cutoff. And my odometer for my records. Since I never seem to actually do that enough. Oh, I left my flashlight on. Go me! So now. My next little project is to seal up this hole 
while the um, tailgate is closed. And by the way I intend to do that is with this right here, I'm going to see if it is even feasible to do this. Put this like right along the edge of the tailgate and just get it to seal this gap when the gate is closed. And then I'll get some of the, you know, regular stuff to seal off this edge here going across and this edge here going down. I'll probably use the slightly thicker stuff for that. Oh, look at that. Not enough space down here. I can't even get my damn truck in the garage because of this guy right here. A couple days ago, I couldn't get the truck out of the garage because somebody decided to park where my truck is currently parked. And as you can see, eh, yeah, there's no way for me to get out of here if there's someone parked in that position. But thankfully, we got that all figured out. So no one's going to park any there anymore except me, and only temporary at that. So just need to figure out what's going on with this guy. I could probably get around him if I just came in at an angle or something. Yeah, just come in like this and then curve in, but I've done it before, but it's just a pain in my butt. Totally. But anyway, that's that. See what happens.